Paul Quinn College is a movement. Our mission, the reason why we exist, is to prepare our students to join us in the fight to eradicate poverty. We understand that we stand on the shoulders of giants, so we do not get the choice to be small. The only way that we can fulfill the promises that those giants made and the dreams that they had for this country is to band together and address the issues of the day. The number one issue of this day is poverty. For the first time in America's history, the majority of its students come from poverty. Therefore, the true measure of our success in higher education will now be our ability to serve the poor. If you grow up in poverty, if your life is defined by scarcity, you don't have the luxury of time. Our students are the roses that grow from concrete, and those roses need us to walk in their gardens, not in ivory towers. The most important innovations, even in higher education, are those that move people out of poverty. That is why we've created our own version of higher education. We are the world's first urban work college. We created an academic program called Reality Based Education, so students can see how the things they're learning in class are relevant to their everyday lives. We created the urban work college model because our students needed not just to have an education, but to have the skills to succeed for a lifetime. Work colleges are distinctive in that students are required to work in addition to go to class, and that work becomes an integral part of their academic experience. Our students graduate with an academic transcript and a work transcript. Because of the work program, our students also graduate with jobs. They graduate with the skills, with the ability to do things that will permanently move themselves out of poverty. Because while I respectfully understand why some people think education cures poverty, the one thing that time and time again has been proven to cure poverty is money. Not only are we changing the way students pay for college and the way they obtain work experience, we've also changed the way curriculum works. We did this by creating the Quinite Arts. Now at Paul Quinn College, we have writing across the curriculum, speaking across the curriculum, reasoning across the curriculum, and building digital mastery across the curriculum. This means that every single class that our students take, they're required to do those things. Let me tell you a little bit about my students at Paul Quinn College. 85% of them are Pell Grant eligible. 70% of them have zero expected family contributions. 98% of my students are either African American or Latino. We are a national institution where over 40% of our students come from outside the state of Texas. Another 20% come from outside the city of Dallas. So what we're doing every single year is asking ourselves these questions. Are we getting it right? Are we serving our students in the best way possible? Are we being good stewards of their faith? Are we raising the bar? You do that by making sure you're addressing their needs and the needs of the communities that produce them. We knew that our community was in a food desert. We were closer to the city's garbage dump than we were a grocery store. So we transformed our football field into an organic farm, which now includes a 5,000 square foot greenhouse, as wonderful as our now is, our next must always be greater than our now. We want to create a network of urban work colleges located all across this country. The reason you invest in Paul Quinn College, the reason you believe in the dream of a Quinnite nation, is because you understand that we are winning. You invest in Paul Quinn College because this is your opportunity this is your ticket for a place in history. So when people come here and they're like, I want to be a nurse, he's going to be like, but why not a doctor? And that's the type of mindset that you have to have. People should look at you as if you're a little bit crazy because your dream is so big. If you actually want to make change, then this is the place for you. My dream is to end poverty. I've been told you can't end poverty. You can just make a dent in it. Listen, I pity those individuals who are the souls that don't dream big enough that they want to solve the great problems of our society. People who are crazy enough to believe that they can change the world, they're the ones who do change the world. This is who we are. This is what we do. Welcome to the Quinine Nation.